Hey, what is up, guys? Asura here, and welcome to Aspects of AIM, your three-minute miniseries in bettering yourself in the FPS genre. If you're a beginner, it's the best for you. If you're a veteran, you still might learn a thing or two. So, getting started into it, uh, we are going to be talking about peaking, which I think is probably one of the important things that you have to understand or know how to do as you delve deeper and deeper into these tactical shooters, at least for this one more specifically for Valorant, because uh, peeking basically allows you to get information without really exposing yourself to danger for a prolonged period. Because usually, uh, for example here, I think this is the best uh, angle to work for it, is you want to get information, right? If you're on Haven map, you're on C, defending, dot, dot, dot. You want to be able to get that information. Let's say you're not a Sova. You can't recon dart or anything. You have to peek in and peek out. But this motion already... Um, is pretty good it's the kind of the basic default of peeking basically strafing in and out of cover you get that kind of little bit of information but you see the issue with this kind of movement is that you're a bit too out in the open if you think about it uh all of your body is exposed up until this point right so if you're peeking out like that um if you're going to be white peeking that's actually not a good thing so what you want to do when you're going to try to peek is to minimize the the time that you're you're exposing your body or at least if you're going to be peeking try to not show any part of your body while also trying to get that information and it is possible like it's not only strafing that you can do to get that info off um there's also some things that you have to know about which is angles as well as peeking but i'm just going to try to show you the default movements there's also the other one which uh i think is easier to do so first of all you just have to know how to do a, a strafe jump so basically strafe jump is that if you jump up you see that i try to press uh left there and try to go to the left but i can't really do it so what you have to do is when you're gonna be pressing a as you're jumping like this uh you're pressing a right you also have to move your mouse going to the left so you can see my hand here on the on the webcam is that like that so when you're jumping it's supposed to look like this so that is what you call, I think, a strafe jump. Is you move left with your mouse and your key, uh, your key press. And you can do the same thing going to the right. And uh, why I tell you this is if you kind of culminate all of that into this movement, it's going to be really cool. So you can do something like this, which is to peek out and then just strafe jump like that. See that? So what I did is I strafe jump to the right. And then as I'm going uh, and getting that information, I come back with a strafe jump to the left. So it's very simple. And what's kind of good about this jump is, or this kind of style of peeking, is it's very fast. Your opponents can't really uh, respond to how quickly the visual information of you jumping out is in front of them. So it's really, uh, really good. See, also what's kind of good about this is in Valorant specifically, there is a very pronounced tagging system so if you try to strafe up like this you might get tagged and your speed to actually get back into cover is slower making your opponents uh shoot or hit you more with their bullets or at least be able to retaliate more with the bullets if you try to get a peek out but with this one even if you're tagged with air you still should be able to use that momentum to get back into cover so this one is good of course the only caveat is you have to know what you're looking for as you're peeking out because I only had like a split second to see what was coming out of the uh, of the corner. Now there is another one. Um, I'm sorry I don't have the kind of on-screen keyboard pressing for you, but there's this other one that I saw. I think that was Dapper who uh, showed it as well, which was you basically press or you jump forward. Uh, so this is easier for me would I have my jump on the uh, scroll as you can see I'm using my finger I'm index finger to jump so you jump forward right you saw that motion so the the motion here is if you're gonna be jumping to the right forward right uh, as you peek out you immediately press left then back so what this does is okay it's a little bit difficult I'm this isn't the really the one that I use so you can see as I jump out, you can use the mo the kind of negative or the rear momentum of the back button to kind of uh, get you a nice little peakage. 
But the thing I don't like about this is if you're not really used to it, you can see, if I, because I'm not used to it, I do tend to not get back into cover, which uh, kind of sucks. So at least for me, this one is much more viable. It does kind of need a little bit more, I think, momentum and movement. As for the other one, not as much, but still does a little bit. See? So I just peek out and then jump back right back in. Peek out. Yeah, it takes a, little, a, a bit of practice for that third one. But definitely the first and second one are much more usable for you. So you can just peek out like that real quick. If you can, try to minimize the, the time that you have to like peek out. So... As soon as you see the back, you immediately, or as soon as you see the open, the opening to see long, you just pull yourself back into cover. Because if you're out too long, basically, if you if you strafe out and peek out like this, you're exposed. You can't really get out. Uh, also, as an extra, the reason why I do have or pick rays here is I did I believe I did put this out with my positioning uh, video early on. Is that you can peek out like this. You know what? You can use your abilities to peek out and do stuff for you as well. Anyways, thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know, again, it's it's a sham. It's not three minutes anymore. But hopefully, hopefully it still was uh, educational for you. See you guys on the next one.